And I'm going to show you how I'm making a black bean chili that is almost meaty, full of something that is not an animal product. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to be out of the picture a good part of the time so that you can be close enough to see what I'm doing. But this recipe is adopted from Chef AJ. Let me put it on pressure for pressure cook. There. And it calls for three cups of chopped onion. I want to show you how easily I can chop three cups of chopped onion or three cups of onion. This is something called a Vidalia Chop Wizard. Boing. I've just hit another um, big slice of it. And the next recipe I'm going to do calls for two and a half cups of onion. Well, I have just about two and a half cups of onion because in this pot, I already have chopped onion that I have sauteed. I have chopped carrot that I also chopped in the Chop Wizard. You don't have to have one of those, but when I'm doing a lot of cooking and I'm doing this and then another dish, I, it's easier to just whack through that. And I kind of like, not kind of, I do. I like these little cubes, um, mm, excuse me, mm, that are created and even chopped. So I've sauteed eight cloves of garlic, and I'll show you an easy way to do that. And gosh, this is three, three and a half cups of onion, and it's several carrots, and I'm gonna, and I put in eight cloves of garlic. And one way I do work with garlic is I like this little garlic roller. You can get it on Amazon. I don't even know what it's called. I think it's called a garlic roller. But by rolling big fat um, cloves of garlic, the skin separates out. These were already done, so I can't show you how the skins just separate out. I put it into this little Tupperware mini chopper. You can get this also, mini food chopper on Amazon or from a Tupperware person. And by simply pulling the cord probably four or five times, all that garlic, that was about 15 cloves, has now been reduced to, look, this very fine chop. I then spoon it into my cute little garlic container I keep in the refrigerator and one teaspoon of this chopped garlic is one clove. So it's very convenient. I'll use this in my next recipe. That's in there as well. Then I'm going to add two 14 ounce cans of fire roasted tomatoes. Well, in this case, two 14 ounce equals 28 ounces. So I'm using my 28 ounce can. I'm going to add to that three cans of black beans. Now this is Chef AJ's recipe and she calls for no salt black beans. I don't have that, so I'm just putting in my organic black beans. So I'm gonna have more sodium in this dish than you may want. In which case, you might wanna drain the beans and then just add water to it. Drain and rinse the beans, add water, and you can cut the sodium dramatically that way. I wanted this um, black bean broth, as I call it. The If this were chickpeas, we'd call it aquafaba. And I don't know if this is called black bean fava. I don't know. But then that ingredient that I was referring to that's somewhat meaty is mushrooms. I'm putting in here two pounds of chopped mushrooms. They can be sliced. They can be roughly chopped. I chopped them. I chopped all the mushrooms. I got these from Costco because you can get a pound and a half of mushrooms for five fifty or five ninety or something like that. I chopped them into quarters. I'm sorry, I'm turning my back on you. And then I into quarters. I even kept the stems on here, just chopped them separately. And then I used this knife called a mezzaluna knife. Just a handy little gadget to go in and chop a little bit more. You've got to be really careful. It's quite sharp. And all of this is going in this pot. This is my eight quart Instapot. If you don't have an Instapot, you may want to consider it. It's one of the ways that you can spend less time in your kitchen and have more control. You set it, 
and you can walk away. For example, I make oat groats in this. Two cups of rinsed oat groats, three cups of boiling water. I put a little salt, you don't need to. I set it for six minutes and then walk away for two hours. And I have beautiful oat groats that are just like barley or wheat berry or farro, but because I'm gluten-free, I don't eat those grains, but I love the oat groats and I make breakfast porridge out of them. And oops, I wanted to put this in. I have a tablespoon of oregano, a tablespoon of cumin, I have a half a tablespoon of smoky paprika or smoked paprika, and I have some um, chipotle powder, or I could have used ancho powder or one of the other kind of chilies. Now that's looking kind of dry to me. I'm gonna put in a couple of cups of water. I may even end up putting in more because we like a looser chili. As a matter of fact, I am. If I wanted this to be a very thick chili that maybe I was gonna spoon over a baked potato, and that's a great um, meat-free meal, then I would have it uh, with less water. Now these mushrooms are going to weep quite a bit, so there's going to be a lot of moisture in here. When this is finished in six minutes, I'm going to release pressure and add a, a a 16 ounce bag of frozen corn. Then I'm gonna let it just sit and settle um, with the cover on just to get it hot throughout again. And voila, we've got dinner. I think all stews, all stews are better when they have had a chance to sit a day or two but we're not doing that because this is dinner tonight. It is 10 minutes to five. My husband and I will be eating by 5.30. That's going to be dinner. So I'm setting the Instant Pot to pressure cook. It's on high and I'm going to set it for six minutes. That's when I'm going to take the pressure off because everything in here is pretty well, well, that's not true. I was gonna say pretty well cooked. Of course, we have the, the mushrooms that need to cook, and it's on. Six minutes from now, I'm gonna release pressure, make sure the pressure valve is off, add 16 ounces a pound of frozen corn, and voila. Um, enjoy. Try this, let me know what you think. Bye. Hi, I'm back. Well, the black bean chili was cooking under pressure for six minutes. It took about 20 minutes to come up to pressure. And you can see I've kind of let it sit around for a while. The Instant Pot will count backwards in terms of the length of time after a dish has been finished. I've released the pressure. It took about five minutes for the pressure all to release. And I pulled it out from under the cabinet. Otherwise, I don't think it's good for the cabinet to be... Um, to have that steam shooting at it, but I get to open it now. Ta-da! And remember what the recipe calls for, frozen corn, ah! Sorry you saw that. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness, is this beautiful. I'll bring it up to you and show you. This is our dinner tonight. I began it I won't be say I began it when we were talking earlier because I'd already sauteed the um, carrot and onion and I had already chopped that. So let's say I began at about 20 to five. We will be eating at 5.30 and I've got a stew. So I'm going to serve up our stew. That way you can see it. Oh, does this look good. And then and remember, it's gotten its protein from, and I like to do what they do in restaurants, just kind of wipe the rim so it looks a little prettier. I'm gonna put some chopped cilantro on it. I'm going to serve it with hot corn tortillas, organic. Put some 
chopped green onion on it. Oh, yummy. Take a look. Doesn't that look beautiful?